fantastic! The kid's awake! So now we can finally ask him what the heck happened here! And why the statue of Sensei Yang is gone. I guess I'll confess now, before it eats away at me even more than it already has. For the past few months I've been summoning Sensei Yang, so he can teach me more about my ghostly abilities. All of a sudden, after demonstrating some of my moves, he just disappeared in an explosion. I don't know what happened, but I've been knocked out for a while now. That doesn't make sense. Sensei Yang should have to follow what the Ghost King, you, say. I'm afraid these rules do not affect Sensei Yang. How can that be true? Can we stop him if not even these rules apply to him? Sit down, ninja, because now begins the tale of Sensei Yang. Our story begins in the village of Draenor. I was quite a young fellow myself at this time. Huh. Ow! What did I do? Why are you beating me up? Yes, that was young Sensei Yang. He was bullied, as he was an orphan. You're not even from this village. You're an outsider. An intruder. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Look at the intruder, lying in Stop the Stop it, you guys! Get back here, outsider! You can't bully me anymore! I'll fight you! Hiya! Oh no, oh no! What did I just do? Wow! Kid, that was amazing! That was the first time I ever saw Sensei Yang, but not the last. Later on, in that exact same village, an older Yang met up with my brother, Garmadon. So Garmadon, I've worked so hard. Do you think I can do this? Of course I do. Just don't hurt yourself, kid. Hiya! He did it. He actually did it. And sure enough, Yang took flight and Air Jitsu was created. We've got to tell somebody. We've got to teach this. The first flight has been completed. Now here's to many more. After that, Yang became a sensei much like myself. He trained students in the art of Air Jitsu at his own temple. He was a strict teacher that demanded obedience, and some students never even made it out alive. He was not dangerous or murderous while teaching his students. He was actually quite content. Until one day, at the temple of the first Spinjitzu master. Why are Why you are here, you Yang? Yang? The name's, the name's Yang, Yang, right? right. I demand to fight you! No matter, no matter what, what happens, happens son, son, you mustn't, you mustn't intervene. intervene. Ninja, go! Oh. 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 Father, are you okay? Yes, yes son. son. I'm fine. I'm fine. Father, your arm! It is, it gone, is gone, I know. I know. But the, but enemy, the enemy remains. remains. And remain I shall. Give up yet? I will I not will give not up give until up you are no longer a threat, threat to my land, land and people. And people. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I will be the new Grand Sensei of Ninjago. Not if I have to use my last bit of power for anything else. No! What have you done to me? I have saved my land from your wrath. And now, you have killed me. Father! No! My deed is complete, but my form is cursed! And with all the power my father passed down to me, I forever curse you to guard your own temple, and have your memory erased.
Hello everyone, Dtanagli Studios here, and thank you so much for watching Ninjago Realm Wars Episode 2, Sensei Yang's Past. And this episode was exactly that. It was the entire telling of Sensei Yang's past. But I have a comment question for you guys now. And the question is, what do you think Sensei Yang's past means for his future? What will he do in the future? What will he become? Tell me what you guys think or predict in the comments down below, and I'll see you around next time.